Let's hit the beach, part two. Let's get right to it. Part two of the best beaches of Southwest Florida. Working our way south from last week where I talked about Sanibel, Captiva, and Fort Myers, this week I'll share about Bonita Springs, Naples, and Marco Island. Bonita, okay, look, it's Bonita in Spanish, but the locals call it Bonita. So either way, Bonita Springs has beautiful beaches. They host the one and only official dog beach in our area. It's located between Lover's Key and Bonita. Here's a tip. Wear beach shoes versus going barefoot. Dogs may be potty trained, but sometimes the owners aren't as well behaved with their scooping responsibilities. Then there's Bonita Beach Park. That's within walking distance of several restaurants and has wheelchair accessible restrooms. Not many beaches even have bathrooms, so this is a notable feature. Barefoot Beach is a huge park with over 350 acres of beaches and trails. They also have wheelchair accessible restrooms. Little Hickory Island Beach Park has multiple access points, but very limited parking. It's more of a tranquil escape to the beach. Naples and Marco Island have a lot to offer too. The Naples Fishing Pier has a concession stand and fishing, but limited parking. Delnor Wiggins Pass State Park offers grills and picnic areas with shade, restrooms, and you can even arrange to host events there. Vanderbilt Beach is just around the corner and close to restaurants. Loudermilk Park has volleyball, picnic tables, kids playground, concession stand, restrooms, and beautiful views. Tiger Tail Beach is great for kids with a playground and restrooms. Plus you can rent beach equipment as well as get food and drinks. Marco Hotels and some communities have private beach access. Ooh la la. Seriously though, it is an amazing way to enjoy the beach. That's it for my best beaches, but these are just the ones you can drive to. For beaches you can boat to, visit my blog. Southwest Florida, it's where I live and what I love. See you next week.